Hello YouTube, Pat Pope 49 here with uh, Yabo Trade. I'm going to switch off some tobaccos, me and uh, Pipe Drummer 22. His box came first, which I'm glad, because it gives me a little edge. And uh, I'm waiting for some tobacco to come in. And I'm smoking my Volkovic sculptured volcano. One of my more fancier Volkovics. Very nice pipe. Smokes fantastic. Everything tastes great in these pipes. These Volkovic pipes. I don't know if it's the the briar he uses. I don't know what it is. I should a great clincher. And I use this tool here to shine it on my heart. Works great. And this is a box which I opened. And give me a note. saying what, what's in it and everything yeah. so that's basically what it's saying but anyway this is what started all the sleepy hollow I found out that I didn't have any because somebody wants to know something about sleepy hollow and I said uh, I may have wrote a comment I don't have any so I can't help you I can't help you with that <laughs> so Sent me a nice, nice amount of Sleepy Hollow. And I'm going to give you my honest take on it. First impression. Oh, actually, second impression. I smoked it in and out of the pipe, but just to make sure it didn't have anything in it that would um, shadow my pipe too bad, you know, like cherry, if it had any kind of cherry in it, I won't smoke them in my bulk fix, or any of my other, you know, pipes that I like, I smoked in something I didn't really care about, you know, either way, so now I'm smoking in my bulk because bulk pipes have a tendency to make everything, tobaccos taste better. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. It might be the high grade uh, briar he uses. I don't know what it is, but he don't he don't put any coating inside his bowl, which usually helps you break a pipe in. And uh, no, these are bare wood, and they break in just as good, if not better, than some pipes with coatings. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. That's my experience. Got a nice smooth top on it, which I keep unburnt because I hate burnt tops. So, he gave me the Ruby Holla, which is always supposed to trade. So, anything outside of this is perfect. He sent me some pipe cleaners, which we now all know we could always use pipe cleaners. Thank you for that. Nate. And he sent me, I never tasted this one, round taste, Captain Black. I never tasted this one. I think I smoked mostly all the Captain Blacks, except for this one. I don't think I ever tried this one. They're, they're good for what it is, the package tobacco, they're good. I would say they're one of the better ones. And then he sent me this can of Autumn Evening, which is um, our, our propriety, or portionary Red Virginia, it's a Virginia Cavendish, is lightly, I can't see this, 
paste with a delicate maple flavor in our best selling aromatic blend. The smoker will appreciate the taste of Virginia's while those around will flock to the warmth inviting fragrance and it is a new can never open which I'm very anxious to try because I'm on a, a hunt for uh, Virginia's and uh, that's it and I appreciate it because all we really are supposed to do is sleepy hollow but you know how this community is nobody ever does supposed to <laughs> you know so anyway and anyway I thank you very much Nate for that and uh, hopefully as soon as I get my orders in I'll uh, be sending your box out well I come to find out that I have smoked Virginia's before and there is one that I do like and it's a straight Virginia. It's a, a Samuel Gawith's uh, brown flake. I like that. That is to me is one of the best flakes I've ever smoked. And I'm not a I'm not a lover of flakes, but that flake is not bad. I would buy that flake. You know, I I, ha I did buy it in the past a couple of times, but. I lost track of it because of all the other tobaccos, you know, trying all so many different tobaccos. I forgot all about it until somebody on another video, one of the other presenters, brought it up the other night. He was doing a thing on Virginia's, uh, how he liked Virginia's and his favorite Virginia's and stuff. And uh, Samuel Galwitz, uh Brown Flake was one of his favorites. And I said, oh, yeah, I forgot all about that one because I did... I did like that one, and that was a Virginia. You know, I do like Virginias if they're mixed with other things. If it's in a mix, I don't mind it. It's the, the straight Virginias, you know, just Virginia, you know, and if it has Perique in it, that doesn't help either, unless it has very little Perique, because I don't like Perique in large quantities. Yeah, I'm not a Perique lover. But anyway, at any rate, So I am very anxious to try this, and I will try it tonight because of the maple, and it has Virginia in it, and I'm really curious. To see if I like it, because there are other blends, I can't re remember which ones they are, that actually do have Virginia's. Uh, there is one in particular, but I can't remember the name of it because I'm brain dead. But anyway, at any rate, I'm anxious to try this tonight. Thank you very much, Nate. I really appreciate it. He's a new subscriber to me. I just subscribed him just recently, and I seen the. Danny Shore today put a video up, finally. It's good to see him again. And uh, I watched the Dagners with, uh, with the Sarge and uh, Stokey Farts and his girlfriend and his father, of course. And they were throwing knives, doing a whip and everything. You won't see none of that on this video. But <laughs> it was pretty interesting. You know? It was good. It was a good video. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so... But there is a guy that I want to give a shout out for that I ran into. I wasn't sub to. I seen his name, and his name is Steve Price. And I thought I had subbed this guy. I subbed another Price somewhere along the line. But. It was there, and it, it said sub, you know, it, it, I, that I wasn't sub to it. So I subbed him. I watched the video. I subbed him. 
I think it was an older gentleman. Um, he only has 51 subs. So, guys, uh, it's just Steve Price, capital S, then T E V E. Steve Price. It's up here. Right up there. You know, capital S, capital P, Steve Price. Just punch that in, and you'll, you'll get his videos. Show him some love. Welcome into the community. He's been he's been around for maybe I don't know maybe five six months maybe. So you know maybe want to welcome him into the community, give him a sub, whatever. He might even have him. You know some of you guys somebody has him because he's got fifty one subs, which is not a real lot, but it's it's enough for some of us to have him. You know. So far, what I'm getting out of this um, Sleepy Hollow, this tobacco is is like an all day smoke. I think you could smoke this. It's so mild. It has a decent taste to it. But the flavors are not real, real strong. It's kind of like Lane 1Q type of level to me anyway I probably most of you guys have smoked it I don't know if you agree with me or disagree with me but it has no tongue bite I don't know what's in it I don't have a palate that sensitive where I could some guys could pick out different flavors and what it is and stuff I can't do that I could pick out Virginia though if there's enough Virginia in the mix, I could pick that out. It has a very distinct taste. One that I'm not crazy about. Yeah, I would say that this is an all-day smoke tobacco. You can smoke this all day. It's mild. It doesn't have. It's not overly flavored. Uh, it's got a nice taste. Not real strong. You know what I mean? It's a it's a nice piece of tobacco. It's nice. I've told you guys before. When it comes to aromatics, see a lot of guys don't like aromatics for one reason or another. But a lot of them, I've heard a lot of them say that the reason they don't really care for aromatics is because. When they open up the tin or they open up the bag or whatever it is and they smell it, it smells really, really good, you know, whether it be chocolate or vanilla, whatever the case may be, or maple or whatever. When they light it and they smoke it, they don't taste it or they taste it very vaguely. So that's the reason a lot of them don't like it. And some, if they're overly flavored, will, will give you tongue bite if the casing's real heavy. And if you draw on it real hard. But uh, that's the reasons they say don't like it. But this is nice. This is nice and mild. It has a decent taste, flavor to it. Uh, I smoke aromatics. If I like the flavor, I don't care if it don't taste like what it smells like or what it says it is. I don't care. If I like the flavor of it, I smoke it, you know. I like my Englishes too, you know, and others, you know, uh, Balkans, stuff like that. I like all that kind of stuff. Yeah, really nice. Nice mild smoke. Pretty good. But this pipe smokes fantastic. This is, this is one of my favorites. I have another sculpture. One, this is a sculptured volcano. I have a sculptured poker, too. That's somewhat in the same line as this. They smoke fantastic. They really do. You really, everybody should really try to at least get one of his pipes. You'll see what I'm talking about. A good friend of mine, um, great pipe maker. Well, with that being said, guys, I want to cut it short. I'm going on 15 minutes here. So with that being said, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. I really appreciate it. 
and God bless.